Ryan Marcia, a very emotional mother, spoke to me about what happened Friday night. The woman is bruised and beaten herself. She says she is living a nightmare as her toddler was taken away after allegedly being beaten by his father. Baby, it hurt me to see my baby um, get hurt like that and crying like that. This mother is a victim herself. Sally left black and blue. She says her boyfriend, 22-year-old Eric Luna, turned on her when she tried stopping him from attacking her 20-month-old child. It breaks my heart that he had to go through what he had to go through. And I know I should have called the cops, but I was just scared. Raymondville police say Luna was drunk and upset because the toddler would not stop crying. Our units responded on Sunday night when a grandmother arrived home and stated that her grandson was abused. Uh, the grandson had injuries to his rib area and also to his face, were bruising to his eyes. Police say Luna grabbed the baby, shook him, slapped him in the face, and spanked him, all before sitting him in timeout. The grandmother called police, but when they arrived, Luna took off. Child Protective Services were called in and removed the baby from the home until Luna is arrested leaving Sally heartbroken. It's just hard right now because not getting to be with him and holding him all the time. And like when I turn around, he's not there. And I was so used to him being around me all the time. Sally's hope now is that someone will turn Luna in or that he will surrender to police. Right now, the baby is being cared for by family members. Sally says CPS will not return the child until his home environment is ruled safe. The child continues to recover from his injuries. Police say he is doing fine. Reporting for the studio, Veronica Gallegos, Action 4 News.